Time once again for Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan. Thanks for joining us. Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, you've probably noticed it's pretty difficult to spend any time watching TV these days without seeing commercials for pharmaceuticals. Drug makers are going to end up spending close to $5 billion this year. So if you're hoping for any relief from the nonstop ads for Viagra, Humira, Lyrica, Cialis, forget it. They aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Now, the only TV ads that will soon begin to compete for time with the pharmaceuticals are going to be those for the upcoming presidential election. Now, pharmaceutical commercials tell us how wonderful the drug can be for us just prior to launching into hastily read and somewhat disturbing medical disclaimers revealing some fairly nasty side effects. Made me wonder what political ads could be like if they were required to include the same kinds of warnings. For example, a disclaimer for a Hillary Clinton TV ad might sound something like, Certain side effects associated with voting for Hillary Clinton may include a sudden loss of email capability. Don't vote for Hillary Clinton if you have adverse reactions to the truth not being told. Conditions such as server wipe, Benghazi denial, and a sudden loss of $6 billion have been reported. Now, an ad for GOP candidate Jeb Bush would sound a little bit like this. Use caution with Jeb Bush as he may cause drowsiness, which could affect your ability to drive. Do not drive a car or operate machinery when exposed to Jeb Bush. Do not engage in activity which requires being alert or awake. Alcohol can intensify the effect. Do not drink alcohol if voting for Jeb Bush. Now, Bernie Sanders' TV ad disclaimer would be in a category all by itself. Use great caution when supporting Bernie Sanders if you have an affinity for actually working for a living. Common side effects of Bernie Sanders includes false euphoria and believing the promise that everything will be free regardless of having no visible means to pay for them. Now, ads for Rick Santorum, Bobby Jindal, Chris Christie, and Martin O'Malley, well, they aren't going to need disclaimers because, frankly, nobody's paying any attention anyway. Which brings us to Donald Trump, who's run very few ads but continues to lurk at the top of the GOP polls. A Trump ad might carry the following warning. Before supporting Trump, talk to your doctor to be sure your heart is healthy enough for Trump. Do not become exposed to Trump if you are a liberal, as doing so may cause an unsafe increase in blood pressure. If the media fails to report negatively on Trump for four hours or longer, seek immediate attention. Disclaimers for political ads. I think it's a good idea. I'm Donald Belarjan, and I approve this message. Now, here's something you're also going to approve of. It's our toll-free number, good from anywhere in the world. You're watching the program, 888-259-4449. That's to get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. Again, toll free from anywhere in the world, 888-259-4449. On your mobile phone, just text Money TV to GO800 or 46800. Be sure and visit us at MoneyTV.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.